hi slim stars welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be seeing you guys today although i'm not like really seeing seeing you guys but i'm happy to, to be here okay if you're not part of the slim stars please hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up okay i'm very sure you will like it and find it helpful so please give the video a thumbs up in advance thank you in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to draft cut and sew an a-line dress from start to finish so if you want to see how to make an a-line dress definitely keep on watching oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so for my length i'm going to be using 60 inches that's how long i want it to be so you want to go ahead and just so that's the edge of my fabric already 60 inches and then this is where the zero mark is i'm going to push this down so you guys can see what i'm doing up here We've already established that that is my 60 inch mark down there. So this here is where my zero mark is here. And now I'm going to mark my, my armhole line, which is eight inches. Okay. And I'm also going to go ahead and mark my hip. My hip is 23 inches. My hip line is 23 inches. So for this A line dress, you don't need to mark your under bust. Okay. I'm also going to mark my bust point here. But like I said, I'm not going to mark my under bust because this A-line dress is going to be fitted at the bust and at the hip. At the waist, it's not going to go inside. It's not going to be a shapey gown. It's just going to be fitted at the bust and at the hip and then it's going to open up, okay? So these are the lines we're going to mark. I'm going to make them... I'm going to extend the lines so that they are more visible for you guys to see. So that's the baseline. This right here is the armhole line. This is the bust point. And this is the hip line here. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is on that um, shoulder line or my baseline there, I'm going to divide my shoulder measurement by two. My shoulder is 14 inches divided by two. That will give me seven inches. I'm going to add just one inch allowance to that. And then at my armhole line, I'm going to divide my bust circumference. My bust circumference is 35 inches. I'll divide that by four, place that on the armhole line, and I'm going to mark that point. I'm also going to add one and a half inches allowance, okay? One and a half inches allowance. I'm going to extend that also to my bust point. Then, on this is my hip line, now I'm going to mark my hip measurements. My hip measurement is, um, my hip is 39 inches. I'm going to divide that by four. And I'm going to mark that point here on the hip line. And I'm going to add one and a half inch allowance to that. And then I'm going to connect those points and then take it down to the bottom part there. So I'm going to connect the bust to the hip. This is why it's called an A-line because of that slanted A-shape that it has. Now I'm going to use my curve ruler to draw a line to connect this shoulder point here to this part of my bust. And then from this point now, I'm just going to take it open. Just going to open it all the way to the edge there. So I'm going to push my fabric a bit so that I can see. So can you see, I'm just opening it up from the hip down. So I'm going to just open this up from the hip. And that's it guys for the front. I'm also going to mark my neckline for the front. And the neckline is a V neckline. So for that, I'm going to take three and a half inches for the width of my neck. And then for the depth of my neck, I'm going to take six inches. Okay. So three and a half by six inches. And I'm going to connect that with a slanted line. Now I'm going to go up from this baseline by one inch so that I can slant my shoulder. So I'm going up from the baseline by one inch and I'm going to extend that. And I'm going to extend that line. And then obviously I'm also going to extend this neckline and extend the shoulder line. And then I'm going to go ahead and just slant my shoulder downwards. Hope you guys understood what i did so this is my neckline and this is the shoulder slant and this is my armhole and this is the rest of the dress and now i'm just going to go ahead and just cut it
so as you can see guys this is our the front piece of our a-line dress can you see how easy it was draft all you have to do is make sure that it's fitted at the bust and at the hip and then you open it up to get that a-line shape and when i open this up this is what we have can you see how lovely it looks okay so now i'm going to go ahead and draft the back piece so for the back piece as well i'm going to fold it and for the back i'm also going to take into account that i'll need zipper allowance so i'm going to place my front piece on top of my back piece now making sure that the fold the folds are on the same side for both the front and the back i'm also going to make sure that the bottom part aligns okay and now i have about one and a half inches allowance for my zip for my zipper now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and just cut the outline but i'm not going to cut my neck because my i don't want my back neck to be low the back neck is going to be a regular um you know high neckline Now for the back neckline, I'm going to go ahead and just draw my baseline. And from that um, baseline, I'm going to mark two inches downwards. So the um, the depth of my back neck is two inches. So I'm marking that two inches there. And then I'm going to just draw a curve to this width here. You know that the, you know that the back width and the front neck width are the same. The only difference in the back and the front neck is the depth. So since the back neck is the back neck depth is two inches it's going to have the same width with the front so i'm just going to mark that same width here and then use my curve driller to just connect those two points so i'm going to go ahead and just cut the back neck open So now I'm just going to go ahead and just cut open the back, okay? But before I do that, I'm just going to mark all the different points that are at the back. The lines, this is my hip line, this is my bust point, and this is my armhole line, okay? I just marked them at the back as well because it's not going to be straight at the back. Because your back around the waist goes inward, you want it to be a bit shaped like that as well. So what I'm going to do is from this bust point now, I'm just going to go in a bit and then come out towards the hip okay now this is generally the place where my um you know waist is okay so i'm just going to curve that in so if you want to measure it and be sure what you can do is from the shoulder here you can measure your from your shoulder to your waist at the back so from my shoulder to my waist at the back is 16 inches so if you look now it is at six, the 16 inch point that i go inwards okay because at the waist it goes in so you want to have that curvy shape you don't want it to be straight and also this will also help to prevent zipper bulging i'm going to be using a zipper and i don't want it to bulge so this going in like this at that waist is going to prevent zipper bulging so once i've done that i'm going to go ahead and cut my back open And guys this is our drafting all done as you can see we have our front piece and our back piece so for the lining i'm going to go ahead and just cut the lining the same way but i'm just going to make it shorter than the fabric so you're going to take your lining now okay this is the front piece of my lining and i'm just just placing it right sides facing with the fabric remember that we cut our um lining to be about one and a half inches shorter than our fabric if you look at the bottom here you see that the lining is shorter than the fabric so what i'm going to do now is, is i'm going to just go ahead and pull the lining to be equal with the fabric and then i'm going to go ahead and sew the bottom here and once i've sewn it i'm going to open it up like this and then i'm going to top stitch making sure that the allowance is facing the lining side. I'm just going to stop stitch on top of this. I'm going to have to sew the lining and the fabric at the hem 
and i also went ahead to just top stitch so by top stitch i mean just sew right on top here make sure that you're sewing on the lining and make sure that the allowance is facing the lining as well okay now i'm going to flip this back close okay can you see what it is at the bottom now see how it looks this is what you should get if you do it right so once i flip it back i'm going to now align it at the top Align it at the top. Now it's time for us to sew our neckline. Okay, so since we have a V neckline, I'm just going to go ahead and just sew the lining and the fabric together. I'm just going to sew it like this. Okay, and then I'm going to open it up, just the same way I did for the for the hem. Open it up and then top stitch along that V as well. So you want to just join both of them the lining and the fabric sew them together with a um, quarter of an inch seam allowance when you get to the um the, that v point you raise your footer up and then turn it okay turn turn your um dress and then bring your footer down and continue sewing The next thing you want to do is make sure that you're looking at the wrong side, okay? So you're looking at the wrong side of both the fabric and the lining, all right? So looking at the wrong side, all you have to do now is just go ahead and sew from this point here all the way to the hem, all right? So this is from the armhole, right? So sew from here all the way here. Do not sew the armhole close because that's where you're going to turn out this piece from. So this is going to be the only these two uh, these armholes are going to be the only open parts of this obviously as well as the shoulder so you don't want to sew the armhole closed you just want to sew from here all the way to the bottom and the same thing you sew from here all the way to the bottom so i've gonna have to just sew from the armhole to the hem on both sides armhole to the hem and now we're going to turn this to the right side like and now what you have to do is just iron this very well and your front piece is practically ready this is what the right side of the front looks like after sewing by the sides okay, all we have to do now is just iron it see for the back piece you do the same thing you did for the front you want to place the lining on top of the front piece right sides facing like this just like the front the back should be shorter so can you see so you're going to go ahead and just make them equal at the hem right make them equal at the hem and then sew that down once you're done open this up and top stitch close it back just the same way you did for the front close it back and then you want to go ahead and then make it equal at the neck and then once it's equal at the neck you want to go ahead and sew the neck and then open it up and then top stitch Make the bottom part equal and then join them with half of an inch seam allowance. You want to open it up, okay? Now make sure this is the allowance we're talking about here. Make sure the allowance is facing the lining and then you want to go ahead and just top stitch. And then when you're done with that, you want to close this back up and then align the neck lines together. Right? Align the neckline for both the lining and the fabric and then sew along that neckline. Once you've sewn the neckline together, you want to open it up. And then top stitch also making sure that the allowance is facing the lining
once you're gonna have to top stitch the neck you want to turn it flip it back to the wrong side and then you want to sew the sides so sew from here all the way to the hem and from the armhole here you want to sew from the armhole here all the way down to the hem when you're sewing this part make sure that you pull the um lining down a bit so you can see a bit of the fabric don't sew it like this okay you want to pull it down so you can see a bit of the fabric that would help the lining stay inside when you're looking at it from the right side So after sewing the sides from here to here and here to here, this is what we should have. Now you want to turn it out through this armhole here. This is what it looks like, okay? This is what the right side looks like. Okay, so these are the back pieces done, okay? We're obviously going to um, iron them flat and then we we'll place them right sides facing like this. And then join them together it's about one inch um, seam allowance now after joining the back right sides facing this is what I have okay can you see now so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our darts now for the darts you only need darts at the back you don't need any darts in front okay? so for my darts from the shoulder I left half inch okay from the shoulder there and then from there I marked eight inch the eight inch mark from the eight inch mark I marked ten inches downwards and then for the width of my dart, from this um, seam line here, which is my zipper allowance line, I just marked four inches, which is um, my bust band measurement divided by two. So that's the dart for this side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's all for this back piece. And then for my front piece, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark my my actual measurements okay okay so an a-line dress is usually fitted only at the bust and at the hip it's not fitted around the waist area so we're not going to be marking our waist um, circumference so for my bust circumference that's 35 inches divide that by four i'm going to place that up here and mark the measurement there and then for my hip measurements my hip is 38 inches I'm going to divide that by four i'm going to mark that here now if you're confused as to where your um hip line and your bust point line is you can just measure from the shoulder but remember to leave that half inch at the top for your um you know sewing allowance so as you can see now my bust point is 10 and you can see that that's where i marked this bust measurement here and my hip is 23 so can you see 23 here? and that's where i mark this so i kind of know where the hip is but if you're not sure you can go ahead and just measure it to be sure of where exactly your hip is so all we have to do now is just go ahead and just connect this to this point and then straight down now for the other side i'm going to do the same thing okay fold it fold the front piece and then just obviously mark the points where you had marked previously alternatively you can actually just turn it to the other side and mark all the measurements again but for me that's going to take a lot of time so i prefer to just do it this way now i'm gonna head to um sew the dots I'm placing the front piece now on top of the back piece like this right sides facing okay because i want to go ahead and join them at the shoulder now to do that i'm going to show you guys the neatest way to do it such that you're sure that it's neat on the right side and on the wrong side so what you want to do is you want to hold your front piece and your back piece shoulders together 
Now, as you hold them, you know you're holding the lining and the fabric for the back, as well as the lining and the fabric for the front piece. As you've held all of them together now, you want to go ahead and separate the lining for the back like this. Okay, separate the lining for the back. And then also separate the lining for the front. Now, join the lining pieces together. So hold them together like this. Now, as you hold them, make sure that this seam here aligns for both of them. You remember this seam here that connects the lining and the fabric for both pieces. So make sure that the seam aligns and then hold the lining together like this. All right. And then also hold the fabric together. Now, you want to buy it and sew from here all the way up here. And then from here all the way down. So you're going to sew these two fabric pieces together and these two lining pieces together. So like this and like this. And that way it's going to be very, very neat. I'm going to show you guys how I do that on my sewing machine. So you want to do that for both pieces. And when you're done, all you have to do now is go ahead and just sew the front piece and the back pieces by the side here, just following this line. This is what it looks like now once you just open this turn this back you're going to see that both the right side and the wrong side are neat okay this is the right side look at how neat it is joined and look at the back the wrong side now you can only see the allowance when you open it up like this so this is a very neat way to you know join your front and back pieces together now still with the front piece and the back piece right sides facing i'm just going to go ahead and just sew the sides just like i marked and i showed you guys okay so i'm going to have to sew the sides okay so i'm just going to go ahead and turn this now to the right side so this is what it looks like on the right side now to mark my armhole i'm going to first of all mark my shoulder so this right here is my center which is my center back so it's going to serve as the midpoint for me so i'm just going to draw a line here i don't know if you guys are seeing that line but that's my midpoint there so you want to just go ahead and use your zipper allowance seam to just draw a line and then from that line you want to divide your shoulder by two my shoulder measurement is 14 inches divided by two that gives me seven so i'm going to mark seven here okay from that midpoint there and then i'm going to add half inch allowance to that and then from this point again i'm going to mark seven inches the other way and i'm going to add half inch allowance to that as well now from the shoulder here i'm going to mark my armhole line for me my armhole line is eight inches you can go ahead and measure yours if you're not sure so measure from your shoulder to where your armhole starts i'm also going to mark the eight inches here as well then i'm going to use my french curve to just create that curve for the armhole now i'm just going to go ahead and trim that armhole open So after trimming the armhole, this is what we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my sleeves and then obviously put my zipper at the back, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. So this is what the A-line dress looks like. And this is the finished look, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.